welcome back. Today I will show you how to update the pointers yourself. We will do this for the PUCs or sprites, whatever you call it. And we see in the PUC status and PUC mood that pointer player is required. So first you have to find out what the pointer player is by scanning for HP would be very good. Don't scan for cap because we need a changing value and yes cap will instantly change and we need a yeah, uh, always changing value. So first we scan for, um, I'm not at full HP, I will just put some cloth down and I'm at this HP. I will scan, new scan, first scan and I'm here. Now I put something else array and now I have a even value of 14,000. Next scan. And now I will put something on and we see will see a changing value here. Mm, up. And what changes are those both constantly changing. The others are probably the cap. So it's one of those. I scan for both. If the first one is not right, then I will scan also the second. We will be looking for 848. This will be our offset. We have to find this. When we have this, then our pointer player is also found. not here, then we scan the second one. Okay, 8.4, we have it here, and our pointer will be this, double click it, close it down, we go in here, we double click on this address, copy this out, this line, add manually, and paste it in here, and we have it written down here. We enter this to our pointer player in our txt file, I already have the latest file, so I don't have to change this, because this is the exact same thing. And we have our pointer player as the starting address. This is here. So now we have to find out what our offsets are. The first parameter always changes. So for you as well, it will be something different as this. But the second and the third will be 0 and 2C8 for status. We look for status. In the description it says nothing 0, busy 1, comeback message 5 and event message 6. And we start by pressing F6, we have our puck here, it's always the F6 puck, so don't use the others. And we have a comeback message here, he came back from work and we see this message, so it's a number 5 as the de description says. We have a 5, new scan, first scan. We have a lot of values, we can scan again because it stays this way. Next scan, and we have some killed out. We click OK, and it changed to 0 because he's idle now. We can just scan for 0 now. Next scan, a couple of times, so that the reared values get killed. Okay, now. We send him back to work and it will be a 1 this time. Okay. Uh, okay, he went to work and it's 1 now. We scan for 1, next scan. And we have just one left. If you have multiple ones le left, then you will have to 
wait for him to come back and scan again for 5 or 6 whatever message appears. It's okay for me now. I double click this value and I will scan, pointer scan for this address. Those both checkers are in. I click OK. Doesn't matter what you write in here. And you wait again. Not sure if I will cut this video to skip this part, but probably not. I'm lazy. Okay, we have a lot of values now. We look for 0, 2, C, 8 at the end, and then we will look for our pointer player, but not now. 2, 2, C, 8. Uh, 2, C, 8 here, but not a 0, and it has to be 3 offsets. 3 offsets, I, took, I look for 3 offsets and a 0 in the second parameter. 3 parameters, and the second will be 0. Where is it? A lot of values. This takes some time. And here it is: three values. The second is zero. The last one is two C eight. So I probably have it now. I will double check it with our um, pointer, which goes from. I will just look at the last three digits: two two C, and it's two two C. That's correct. So I double click this one. I have it here. Close this down. Okay, we have it already here. So, so it's the offset is 2f8. You have to write down whatever is the first parameter for you. And you do this the same for the mood. And this should be everything. The other offsets should stay this way. If you're experiencing the bot has wrong values and he doesn't work correctly, you would have to check all the others as well, but they shouldn't change. Just this PUC status in PUC mode is very likely to change every time an update comes out, or you have a different language client as someone else. So this should be everything. I hope I could help you. And if you have any other problems with that bot, just write me a message or post to the YouTube videos. I will gladly help. Thank you. Bye-bye.